Okay. Hello again, and welcome back to Pioneer. Now, I am back from a break. I uh, wish I could say I enjoyed it more, but um, it's been so hot. There's not a whole lot to do but sit around inside and uh, <laughs> play games, really. And play games I have. The community goals for No Man's Sky's latest expedition have finally finished, so we went back to that and uh, finished off all of the remaining stuff from that. That gave one of the vehicles in the game a new look, a new appearance, and a new set of weapons. Are they any better than what it already had? I'm not entirely sure, but they were there. Uh, what was else? What else was I playing? Doom! The old Doom. Doom 1 and 2 got a re-release? A new update, I should say. A new engine for uh, the version of the games on consoles and on Steam. Probably other online stores as well. If you're interested in playing Doom these days, Doom 1 and 2 these days, you've probably played it on something like uh, GZ Doom. But if you're on consoles, I don't think you can use that. So the new engine makes it work kind of nice. I've been using it, the new engine version, because it's got uh, achievements for Steam, so I've kind of been chonking through those. But anyways, back to Pioneer. So, we're here on Bright City. At Bright City on what planet was this? Uh, Salavani's world in Hagelder. And we are set up to do some smuggling. This time, smuggling some live animals. So we're going to take these live animals all the way up to uh, Sudodo. And it's a bit of a trip. Only three jumps, but the last one's a doozy. And hopefully make some money. And Sudodo actually has live animals as a illegal trade, so we can actually smuggle them. So, let's leave Bright City. When you play No Man's Sky using a keyboard, uh, the controls kinda different, similar but different. So, I might today strafe to the left and right when I need to roll. Because No Man's Sky's default controls, uh, they everything used WASD, W-A-S-D, just like Pioneer, but instead of Q and E being roll in Pioneer, A and D are roll in No Man's Sky. So, you get kind of used to that, and oops, 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 no, I'm not doing, not flying correct. So, we're 10 kilometers up, let's warp! Hyperspace, first up is Endiel. So I've not been out of the saddle for a little bit longer than I would like, so I'm a little worried I'm gonna screw something up. I mean, I was screwing things up even <laughs> when I was in the saddle. So, I just have to have to wing it. Not that wings do a whole lot of good in space. So, here we are at Sododo. Sododo. Look at that, no cops. Anybody out here to give us any trouble? So, Kraus Settlement is really close, and I think Roth here is the place to be. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm already mispressing keys. So, let's head over to Roth City. Gotta be careful. 
careful not to overshoot it. We are really close. side thrusters to help us line up correctly. I mean, we've got the fuel. Okay. Let's check where we could be. So, raw is there. <laughs> so when we get there, Roth will still be in the same place. Okay. That's good. I forgot to check gravity though. Let's see. Kraus. Kraus, Kraus, Kraus. 0.23. Okay. could have gone to uh, that station there, the Richardson Refinery. You know, we really don't know what place has the best um, import prices until we get there. We're smuggling. So it's been a little while since we've done this on trying to play it a little bit safer than usual. I'll right, we'll keep our speed down. Probably a little more than we need to. As I say that, I let the speed creep back up. in a while. So much, so much easier in No Man's Sky than Pioneer. You just fly towards a planet, press E, and land. But, looks like we're doing okay. Well, maybe it's like riding a bicycle. I never forget. Three kilometers, let's turn on the forward cruise mode. Get 
dock information. Docking bay number seven. Okay. And there was me uh, using the No Man's Sky controls again. I can't roll A here. up and let's try and sell this stuff so where are we let's see cargo emporium cargo recovery is that the only one Did i miss it this one no, that looks like it's it. Okay. Look at that. Ooh. Thousand credits. A ton. We sell one. Look at that. We even have more car oh we didn't we can do this in demand. Yeah, 2,000. 2,000 credits. We bought these. I bought these animals for 800 some odd credits a ton. Look at that. In total, we bought them for 33,000 credits. Look at that. Boom. That's a lot of money. That's some good money. <laughs> okay. So, we've made a fair bit of money now. That's a nice Cinematrix paint job. And, you know, I think we're kind of running out of stuff uh, to do in Pioneer. Oh, not quite, I guess. Uh, but there are still a few things that we haven't really touched upon that I think um, are a sweep. That I think uh, we'll have to do when the opportunity presents itself. Right, so... For example, here, right, we have this target elimination mission. This has been something... These kind of missions are something that I've been shying away from because they, I think, they tend to get the police involved. You have to destroy the target while the target is in range of well, a port. I suppose you could buy something like, let's see, Scanner, sensors, something like, uh, uh, what was it called? A departure cloud scanner that would let you find the target system that your uh, target had gone to. Find the system your target had gone to. But for the most part, I think you I think a lot of people tend to do these over the ports after this target has launched. We haven't done this kind of mission, so uh maybe later on 
we'll give it a try. Not particularly profitable, <laughs> but no, we'll give it a try. Maybe. Another kind of mission that I don't see here, but I want to give a try, is the scanning missions. I saw the, uh, the scanner pop up over here in the sensors menu, the orbital scanner. I haven't done a mission that involves scanning, so I don't really know what is involved or, or what to do in those kind of missions. So that's another potential option for next time. There's also piracy. Now, I've practiced, uh, practice is the wrong word to say, but uh, when I was practicing shooting things, you know, piracy is something that kind of happens along with that. I had flown up to some big ship and was shooting at it with my lasers, and it was dropping cargo. So I think that's how you do piracy in Pioneer, because there's no way we can send messages to ships. Now I know Olite has the one of those, uh, it might be a, an add-on, but it has a HUD option where you can send messages to targeted ships, and you can tell them to drop some cargo, or you can tell them to, uh, well, you can ask where they're going, or to help, I think you can ask them to help you. It's been a while since i played, so I don't remember. But we can't do anything like that here, so we'll have to shoot some ships to do pirating, I think. And in that case, this plasma accelerator might be more of a hindrance than a help, because we don't want to destroy the ship. We just want to take their cargo. So we got the scoop. So we could do that. Uh, it's... There's still a fair amount of stuff we can try here. But for the time being, I think we'll call it a day. Figure something out, what to do next, where to go next. Uh, ne next time. So, it's been a while since I've uh, done this. Uh, so thanks for watching if you're still around. Uh, we'll call it a day and see everybody later. Goodbye.